said, let's start the first game between Echo and Blacklist International. All the way in the beginning, we do see that the Demon Slayer emblem is what both junglers try and go for. They want to get that quick clear in the early game particularly. And in that mid lane, there's going to be a bit of a showdown for sure. Both of these mages, they have like decent clear, but as far as how they impact the side lanes, it's a bit different, right? They need to try and get a bit of help, especially from the jungler or the roamer, before they can actually have that kind of impact. You know, slight advantage here for Sanji, given that Haji has to work on his stacks, has to make sure that the savior scales up. But down bottom, it looks like it's a deadlock because both are able to clear the wave fast enough and then rotate. We got to talk about the goal lane as well. So the Diggy is going to apply pressure here onto the Harif. So Yaoi, I want to see whether he decides to help out Manicuti in the goal lane or he's going to try to apply pressure in the jungle, which kind of doesn't need to because going up against the Boxia, yeah, like, why? Exactly. Usually the Hilda is being used against Assassins just to be that oppressive presence, especially in the early game where the passive is just so annoying to deal with. But now, it seems like Echo is using Yaoi on the Hilda to actually deal with the Diggy pressure because that shielding is casting Ooh. all the damage, but look at Oheb taking very, very low. Close call. Oheb at about a tenth of his health. Here comes Wise bumping right into Yaoi. Oh my Venus, looking for that reverse time, does not catch it. Right now, I'm looking at this, and it does look like Echo did trying to find the, the angles, the way that they can start the early aggression. So I want to see if they apply more pressure onto Oheb, because again, as a Claude, before level 4, you don't have a lot of way to clear the minion, so it's very, very punishing to die at, like, what, level 3? Yeah, the wave clear is definitely a big issue, especially against a Diggy. They're just constantly trying to actually do some damage, do some poke damage, but with all the members, with 4 at least, Four people in total in the top side. It doesn't seem like Echo is going for the turtle, but Blacklist is trying to contest it. Yep, Wise looking for it. Sanford spots him. There's the box by Sanji. Real revelation. Turtle scared by Carl, and Sanji takes down Wise. When we look at this lineup, this is what we were predicting Echo. They're gonna start the charge. They're the one that is gonna say, I'm gonna have tempo. And Blacklist, they gotta answer this by not dying a lot. And now Rashi, looking at the items, anything that we have to pay attention to. It does seem like Sanji is going straight for the Enchanted Talisman. With how he's performing, he's going to be using a lot of mana, so it makes a lot of sense. Later on, there will be a bit more damage being built on his side. But oh my, Venus almost gets taken out as Oheb now just goes face to face against Yaoi. But he is still on the tank emblem. So tanky, doing a decent amount of damage, especially in the early game, making the best use of that Hilda. Well, now we got to talk about the Hilda, but before that, Sanford and Edward 1v1. Is there really going to be any big traits here? I don't think oh! so. Oh, on top, Oheb goes down. Oh, no, and the box wasn't even there, so this is just the pure raw power of a Hilda. Yeah, I, I kind of want to talk about that as well, Arashi, where a Hilda pressuring, sure, but pressuring the goal lane, how does Yaoi do this? Like, what is he really taking advantage of? He's just taking advantage of the fact that Blacklist doesn't really want to stay and be passive in the lane, so he just stays around there and just keeps moving in and out of vision. And, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But the point is, he's being a disruptive force, just taking away the focus of Blacklist oh, from the rest of the map. Sanji! Look at that! Gets a 1v1 question mark, and Whoa. there's bodies falling for Blacklist all across the map! V and Wise taken down three for none. Five to zero scoreboard. Five to zero, two K goal difference. And in my map, oh, Oheb goes in against Benny Cutie. Will this be a good idea? Summon Force put in oh. underneath the turret. Oheb very low. Kaldizi gets the kill. Flanked him from the back line. Oh, my Venus falls as well. LaFell, you were saying. Now, I'm, I'm just saying right now, seven to zero, 2.4. In my opinion, if you're a, a scaling composition, you don't want to lose more than 2,000 gold. And now it's 2.6 in the first four minutes. Echo, man. They just find their power spikes. And once they felt they had an opportunity, every single member just went for the 1v1 phase all over the map. And at the same time, three members from Blacklist gets taken out. That is not ideal at all. And now with that pressure, Echo will be going for the mutual objective. And 
according to the pattern, they're gonna try and take some turrets. That's a free turtles. LaFell, that 2k threshold, can we call it the LaFell threshold? Hey. Because that's essentially what sets apart good teams when they can read that situation. Hey, if anything can be named after me, I'm gonna take it. And now <laughs> it's 3k. Looking at the items here, looking at Blacklist, the only one that has completed the item is Wise on this box here with the Radiant Armor. Is it enough, Arashi, for them to like, kind of like negate some of the attacks coming in from Echo? Well, they can negate some damage, especially from Harriet as well as the Yeev. But, I mean, Yaoi on the Hilda is still doing a massive amount of damage. And don't forget, this Dairoth, Sanford on this Dairoth, is actually one of the main counters for Wise. So the Radiant Armor will not be helping in that department. Oh, Venus already committing the flicker. Carl Dizzy gets a beat on the Queen. And the Razor's Wrath taking down the Diggy. Second, make that third death for the Roamer. And right now, Blacklist, they have nothing to answer. They gotta slow it down. Oh, have just completed his Demon Hunter sword. Oh. And Wise tries to do it, but he can't do anything. Four members on the Wise. He's cornered here. Three members make that four Wise. Chrono, Fisher. oh no, there's the box. BMI out, one down. They're just doing damage control here, Blacklist. Blacklist is getting corralled, getting cut off from their base. And honestly, Echo is just making the best use of this early game pressure. And they're not done just yet. Oh, Sanford flickering on out. They catch Edward. Here comes the cavalry. Oheb with a blazing duet on out of dodge. Lightning and thunder pushing away Echo. Right now, looking at the situation, Blacklist International, they're very comfortable of playing from behind, trying to wait it out, trying to make sure they fight at equal ground. But now, I gotta ask you, Arashi, Blacklist, realistically, what can they do to stop the bleeding? They need to try and just prepare the crowd control, stick together. But the problem is, for Echo right now, every single member, generally the main carries, can go for those solo kills yet again. So if they just stick together, yeah, maybe they can avoid getting killed, but then Echo will just start destroying them in the macro gameplay, in the rotation, in the vision game, and that is not ideal either. Oh, Edward catches one. Here comes the RWM. Diggy, oh my goodness, with the time's journey. They take out Sanford first. Where was the damage? Amazing play by Blacklist. They get a pick off, but oh, they pay the price. Down goes Oh My Venus. They're gonna collapse down onto Edward. And he goes for the split. Split is off a of cooldown. Rides on to Carl Teasy. Puts him in a compromised position. Here comes Wise. Still, he get his purple buff. Yaoi making space. Edward getting pulled in. Wise still here as well. Then he gives his summon force. Where's Edward going? Goes on through the wall. Suffers a death. The storm is here. And they disengage. Oh, they find Haji. Will they find him? Will they get him? Oh, RWM, one more time, Sanji. This team fight's going on forever. It's just seven minutes, but the damage coming in from Echo is so much and wise. He's gonna get taken down. Oh, Donning Light unable to save those two in mid. B wise fall underneath tier one. Three members down despite the best efforts from Blacklist to try and control the damage. It's just so much burst coming in from the side of Echo. And look at that. They oh, never oh, oh. They're not done. Carl Tizi finds him in the back line. Sanji with the Void Crystal popping Oheb. And now Edward and Oh My Venus finding Sanctuary underneath here too. This explosiveness is controlling Blacklist International. Looking at the items right now, the Xavier only having the Clock of Destiny really won't deal out that much damage. And the Clot, eight minutes in, only with the Demon Hunter Sword. Blacklist right now in this game, is looking very one-sided, Arashi, and Oh My Venus has to use the ultimate to get out of the RWM. I mean, Sanji right here with the Ice Queen's one, just popping that alone is enough, uh, enough threat for Black to just react with so many skills. And on top of that, Benny Cutie is supposed to be a late, hero, a late game hero. He has so much damage right now. Oh, it's a full-on engage. Haji very low. Oh, Brazier's Wrath puts him on one HP. Grab Sanford finishes him off through the wall. Now it's Edward in the front line. Split, split. Yaoi cordoning off the rest of Blacklist as they go for this purple buff steal. It's calm for now, but Echo are just pummeling on through Blacklist jungle straight to the Lord. Right now, I honestly, Leo, I gotta ask you because Blacklist, 7,000 rolled down. Should they be getting any kind of view of getting a comeback? Who is it going to come from? Is it going to come from Haji, Oheb? Who is going to make that comeback happen? In that sentence alone, they went up another thousand and a half. 
right? Oh, wow. It's at nine now almost. So I'm guessing if it's up to me and if it's something that I've seen before given my history with Blacklist, it's got to come from Haji. So again, protect Haji at all costs and protect the map. I, I can't really agree with that statement, man. Haji is the one with the wave clear. Haji is the one that later on, I guess, can just do a lot of poke damage with the dawning light. So I think he's a big factor. And if Echo still goes with his aggressive style, he's the one with the mystic field that can stop a lot of this playmaking. But look at that. It's so aggressive coming in from Echo. Oh, look at the angle that Yaoi and Karl are drawing. Concealed play by Yaoi. Disengages, pushes them away, allowing Kalti to steal the orange. Right now, Echo, they're really pushing hard because Lord is coming up top. They're pushing Blacklist away from the turrets. They're taking it one by one, almost a 10,000 goal lead. Oh my Venus, as well as Oheb, they are at half HP. They can't even handle the range, the siege coming in from Echo. Oh, there's the RWM keeping down Oh my Venus, forcing the time's journey. Lord swinging away, shield popped in the inhibitor up top, and they're still going. Sanji swiping, tapping. Edward taking care of that wave in mid. Echo disengages. Man, that poke damage coming in from Sanji is just brutal, man. With the glowing wand right here, every instance of damage is getting buffed. And even the tankiest member, like Edward, will just start suffering from that percentage HP damage. Taking a look at the items, Ohab has the golden staff, but is it too little too late? If you compare him to Betty Cutie right now, there's a lot of true damage. Oh no! Right underneath that inhibitor, they take down Haji, placing the win by Ohab, but it's a little too late. They're gonna take it down. Another arm. WM, Yaoi very low, still gets out, has an immortality, no casualties from Echo, Blacklist can't punish. Yeah, Blacklist can't punish because again, a difference of like one and a half items right now between Echo and Blacklist, like that is per hero, per hero, per hero, per hero mind you, so now like the deficit is like so big, even I'm asking myself, is this really comebackable? The gold difference is almost at 1k gold per minute, man. It is insane, the tempo that Echo is pushing onto Blacklist. And despite their best efforts, even now, the jungle is just never really a safe place. And the only time Blacklist can come out is when Echo pulls back. But even that might be a trap, because that means there's a longer distance that Echo can just run Blacklist through, right? Just chasing them all the way with the slows, with the crowd control. And it's a nightmare for Blacklist right now. Good news, bad news. There's a push by Oheb in the bottom lane. Bad news is, as soon as Echo takes this Lord here, it's Luminous, 12 minutes past, it's gonna be harder to rely on Haji. It's gonna be difficult for Imam alone to be the insurance policy because they can't stay in their base alone because Echo's gonna keep coming. If anyone asks us again, like, what is a snowball? I kind of feel like this game is the definition of a snowball, taking a small lead up in the goal lane and then translate it all over the map. 11,000 gold difference. Blacklist, oh my Venus using the Diggy is good at protecting the backline, but it's not tanky. The items as well is built on utility mage items, so he can't tank the damage. The only one that can is Wise and everywhere, but at this point, it doesn't look like it's enough. It is an Impure Wrath Diggy, so it's supposed to actually do a lot of poke damage, but against a Hilda, against a Fredrin, it's just not enough. And now Echo make the deciding play. Oh, wow. Sanji with the Void Crystal alone forces Haji underneath the base. They're going to force the issue here. Lord swinging away at the base. Tier 3 turrets, inhibitors in bottom, very low. Mid as well, compromised. There's a wave crashing on through. Blacklist holding on. Right oh, now. oh, there's an RWM forcing out the time's journey. Wise coming in. Oheb with that blazing duet. He's very low. Oh. Yaoi gets the kill. Down goes the Filipino sniper. Yaoi gets his immortality pop with a salmon force. Haji goes down. They're going to swing away. Oh, my Venus pop here by the back line. Edward takes down Yaoi. Wise very low. Can Sanji finish the job? The answer is no. It's up to Edward now. He's down as well. It's just Wise. Echo takes game one. Echo starting the series off with a very decisive victory. We're looking at Grand Finals. In fact, look at Blacklist International. Even they look flabbergasted. What happened just now?
they just look absolutely confused, man. They try to go and play reactive, try and curb the aggression coming in from Echo. But with those picks, with how many late game heroes they're relying on to scale into that late game, it wasn't nearly enough. Trying to just use the Diggy and the Boxia to be an annoying factor in the early game was completely shut down by Echo. Off the back of that Hilda, just absorbing all the damage, and of course the Dyra just softening up that Boxia.